American Ultimate Dis League semifinal is coming up today. And of course, it's championship weekend in the AUDL. Adam Kaufman here with Ben Yacht, one of the superstars, not only in the league, but for the New York Empire. Your squad, New York, facing off with San Diego today. Uh, ben, I well, first off, sh should I call you the king? Is, is that what I should be doing here based on uh, what I've seen out there on social media? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I prefer to go by Ben, but you can call <laughs> me whatever you want. I'll answer most things. All right, I'm going to have to talk to your teammate, Jack Williams, and find out if I need to stick to King just to, to make sure I'm showing the proper respect, obviously. <laughs> yeah, not a bad idea. He'd be friendly. You could ask him. What's the season He's been like? His own right. Yeah, there you go. What's the season been like for you, obviously, you know, in, in the wake of the COVID shutdown last year and now coming back this season and, and really picking up right where you guys left off? Yeah, it was not unexpected, but we, uh, you know, you, you can't really tell what's going on and what's what's going to happen after a year like that. For me, it felt good to not have um, all the expectations of going right back into it uh, and trying to win a championship the, the year after we had just won. It, it felt good to take some time off. It didn't really feel like we were defending champions anymore. We were just another team out trying to win a championship. So it felt, it felt pretty good. I mentioned that you've been one of the dominant forces in the AUDL uh, really over the last few years since joining New York and especially since the 2018 season. What's transformed from your game? Because, you know, you've been in the league for, a you know, a, 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 the better part of a decade at this point, but you've really come into your own over these last few years. What's your secret? So there's a couple of things. I've, I've definitely matured in my own game. My throwing and, and cutting has gotten better. Um, Certainly being on a team with other focal points is really big for me. If I'm not having to take their A1 defender every single time, um, that, that's great news for me and, and it allows me to get free a lot of times. The other thing, um, I think just from a player development standpoint, I've been able to learn to take what my defender is giving me and uh, just I've, I've matured mentally and been able to make a lot better decisions as far as playing uh, offense against a person who's, who's on me. So a little bit of everything, but um, a, a great team certainly doesn't hurt. For anyone that may not know, you're the reigning league MVP as well. And uh, granted, that was a couple of years ago last year, no season as we talked about. And so I'm sure coming into this year, expectations, personal expectations for you were pretty high. You've delivered, especially here in the second half. So what's motivated you above all else? I'm, I've never been one for, for personal statistics. I, it, it's hard not to, to enjoy some of that. But um, <laughs> Sorry, can you guys hear that? Um, yeah, no, they're, anyway. they're getting the test run in. They're ready. Yeah, they're, they're getting all going, so I'll try to maintain focus. My bad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, personal stats aren't super meaningful to me. I'd rather win a championship every day of the week than I, than I would win an MVP. But um, like I said, when you have such a, a great team, um, the stats will come. It's, it's not going to be hard to get goals and assists when guys like Ryan Osgar and Jack Williams are throwing it to you and Matt Stevens and Lithio are, are getting open for you in the end zone. So um, I haven't really been motivated by, by personal statistics. I've been motivated by being the best I could be. And I think the guys on this team definitely help uh, carry that, that mission forward and make it easy. Well, I don't, I don't need to worry about humility coming from you. You ooze that. But I'm going to ask you to, to, to try and, you know, talk about yourself a little bit here. Because, again, as the reigning MVP, you're the favorite to go back to back. You would be just the third two-time MVP in Ultimate. I mean, what would that mean to you? It would be, it would be pretty cool, frankly. I, <laughs> I would enjoy that. My um... – I was able to reflect on it a lot last year after winning. And like I said, I'm not huge into that, but it's really cool for folks like my parents and grandparents who, um, who've been so supportive and getting them to be able to see the success that I've had um, is, is a testament to, to their support and kindness and everything. And, and my teammates having supported me as well. Um, I just feel extremely fortunate to even be considered for that sort of an award and to, to have it be to be considered for it twice is uh is something else and additionally last year our our teammate Bo Kittredge who's maybe the greatest ultimate player of all time he's one of those guys who's won two in a row so 
um, in addition to all the rest of the humility stuff, it would be fun to get to to get on his level. So is this passing the torch? Like, I mean, if he's the, the best of all time, if he's the, the Tom Brady of ultimate, does that make you Patrick Mahomes? Are you the next guy? Uh, I I don't think I'm even close to, to that level. Bo is, he's, he was on another level. So it would take a, a decade more of playing at this level to get where he is. So I'll, I won't be striving for that. I'll be my own player. Well, regardless of uh, how long you decide to, to keep at it, obviously, even just this postseason here, champ- championship weekend, you have ultimate records that, that are within your grasp, most points in a postseason, most assists in a postseason. A- as you've grown as a player over the years, have you unlocked you know different facets of your game? Are there different things you've learned along the way that have made you a better player? Or is it just, hey, this is an incredible run? Uh, in some ways, it feels like it's just been an incredible run and all sort of got lucky. Um, I was talking with one of my teammates, Ryan Osgar, about that, and we were just reminiscing on on how competitive we are. And so even though a lot of it feels natural to, oh, yeah, I, I sort of always was going to end up being an, a very good ultimate player or, or what have you, um, a lot of effort has gone into it and a lot of my competitive – uh, side has come out and trying to get better and working on my throws like I said earlier working on how I'm how I'm being played by a defender if they're guarding me under if I have the outside shoulder if I have the inside shoulder what I'm going to do in all these different situations um, so it, a lot of times it feels natural but it's easy to forget uh, how much effort we've all put into it so uh, a little of both. So as you're chasing another title right now uh, I'm sure there are some level of of nerves involved, but at the same time, you've been there before. You've mentioned some of your teammates. You've alluded to this as well between, you know, whether it's Jack Williams, Jeff Babbitt, Ryan Osgar. I mean, New York's pretty loaded. You know, it's not just you, which is great, I imagine. Is it nice to not always have to be the focal point? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really nice. Uh, I, I will say I often take the team's biggest deep uh, defender, which – you know, that, that's okay. And unfortunately, I'm in my prime right now mentally and physically. So it, it's a good time to be peaking in that way. But yeah, those guys are, are taking quicker defenders and, and defenders that might have a better mark or something. So a lot of times I just get to not run wild, but I, I've, I've had a few good games this year. And um, yeah, it, it's thanks in no small part to those guys taking other top defenders. What's the hardest part of trying to repeat? Hardest part. Um, like I said, the expectations. I've been on a few championship winning teams. I won in college and I've won in the club division. Uh, this will be my first time trying to repeat in the in the AUDL. Um, but I think it's the expectations on you. you. You have this target on your back and you don't know, or you do know that you're going to get everyone else's best. Um, and so playing up to that level is really difficult. Um, like I said, I think the pandemic was probably helpful in letting us kind of reset emotionally, letting other teams reset, pick up different players and um, sort of let it sink in um, and, and maybe even forget a little bit about it. But we definitely are benefiting now from the fact that we've been here before. Um, we're, we're all locked in and ready to go. So winning in 2019, hopefully again this weekend, at the same time, I, I'm just guessing as, as an athlete, as a competitor, you can't part of you help but look at it and say, man, I mean, we were kind of robbed by COVID last year of, of, of a potential three-peat here. Does that ever cross your mind? It, it has briefly. Um, I'm not going to say it hasn't. I, I it, it seems a little unfortunate that, like I said, I'm in my prime and I didn't get to play one of those years that, would have been there but I am so thankful to be back out here after all of the hardship from last year um, it's great to be out doing something I love with people I love um, and at a great venue like this it's hard not to just be living in the moment and enjoying everything that's right on right in front of me right now you mentioned playing in college club division obviously here in the AUDL as well and I I, mean, I, I can't help but wonder knowing as 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 little as I do quite frankly about professional ultimate i mean how does how does one follow this path how does one become a professional ultimate disc player um yeah well i've had a bit of a unique journey but for me it was just 
playing at the highest level I could as often as I could. And uh, like I said, my, my competitive nature just sort of thrived in that environment. And I was able to engage wherever I could. And, and I, I kept on playing a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. And then uh, I think it was my fifth year, fourth year into playing ultimate. One of the coaches from the Minnesota team said, come to the trial, you're good figure this out and so i i went to tryouts i was like is this gonna cost money to try out i don't i don't have a lot of money i'm just a college kid and he was like forget about that just get out here and uh played in college and ended up out in new york after college and have been really really loving it ever since how early does it even become you know something that's on your mind you know you think like high school college you're going out like i'm gonna be a lawyer i'm gonna be an engineer i'm gonna be a doctor i'm gonna you know at, at what point is it you know i want to be a professional athlete and i want to play ultimate um, that's, that's a good question for, for a long time. I didn't even think about it in those terms. I was like, I want to be a doctor and I'm, I'm going to go do that. And until recently I was, uh, I was totally on that track. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to be a professional ultimate player for my career goals. So I got to figure something else out now. Um, kind of sussed out some stuff during the pandemic. So doctor is no longer in the mix, but we'll see what, what all happens. Um, yeah. I, it, it's like I said, it's just sort of felt like I've stumbled into it in a lot of ways. And I've been extremely fortunate to, to be able to be as lucky as I am. Doc Yacht has a nice ring to it. Yeah, I, I think that ship has sailed. I, I <laughs> decided it against going to medical school after getting into a couple of them last year. So I was like, ah, figuring something else out now. We'll figure we'll figure it out. Well, I guess you'll have to settle for uh, hopefully two time New York Empire and AUDL champ and two-time MVP and all the great accolades hopefully coming your way here in just a matter of days and weeks. Thanks so much, Ben, for joining us. Best of luck this weekend. It's a blast. I appreciate it, Adam. Thanks a lot.